Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's everything to you outside of it. I'm Sophia and welcome back to a new video. So today we're gonna do something very, very exciting. Um, if you, you might know, you might know. My birthday was last Saturday, 8th of October, finally 16. Obviously birthdays is being able to ask for stuff that you want. And I have one thing that I've wanted for a while and that is a TBR card. So funny story, I actually asked for a blue blanket and a black trolley and I got a green trolley and a black blanket. I just, I thought that was pretty funny. This is her. Let me pick her up for you. Very basic. But I think she's cute and I think we should make her fun. So we're gonna decorate her, which also means we're kind of gonna reorganize my bookshelf. We'll have a little fun. Um, I'll do a little finishing clip, obviously. But this is obviously gonna be my TBR cart. Um, the only problem is I should probably leave some space because I am going to England soon. Yeah, I should probably see in what way I want to create this a... Eh? TBR card. <laughs> um, we're gonna sit a bit more down if that's okay with you. This is my beautiful room and this is my beautiful bookshelf. We have a shit ton of books. We have more on the floor. I have more on the other side of my room. There's more on that little cabinet as well. There's a whole series that I still haven't read so I'm gonna actually leave that just there because that's just where I keep those series now. So yeah, um, so I don't really know how I'm gonna do this because it obviously could go by author and stuff, but there's a lot I haven't read. I think we should make the top rack of the books that have been on, the t on my TBR for the longest. So we do need to make it cute. That's the whole point of it. I might put some stickers on it. And another small thing on the bottom here of all small books because this shelf is smaller than the other two. So I will be keeping those there because they don't like that's the place where they fit so i might as well yeah this is my tbr for the month so maybe i should put that somewhere as well this is more difficult than i thought i'm not gonna lie to you oh my god my posture was really bad so i haven't read confess by colleen hoover nor have i read november 9th but the rest i have i only read one john green book so i feel like it's kind of unnecessary to put all of those in my tbr cart all of those hamish and beth books and i've only read like two um then the man who died twice i think i might put that in because that's also like it's like a part of a series so i feel like poor little poor little mushroom it keeps falling that's a whole series i think i'm gonna go by shelf and then just go over them ever like over and over again but i definitely think that <laughs> this is a great start also this does kind of look nice together look what my boyfriend got me for my birthday i love him so much so if i just put this okay what if i put my started but unfinished series like here i think that might be a good idea obviously not my like massive series but like my smaller series and this is another part of like this is the next part of my series that i want to read so i feel like that could also repeated author so i feel like that can also just go up here because i've read normal people but not conversations with friends nor beautiful world where are you so i feel like that can also just go on the top row in england i am getting a lot of like content like series like i'm getting like a lot of like finishing series for example the truly db series i'm getting the rest of that i'm getting the rest of the twisted series so i am going full out i'm gonna there's gonna be a book haul promise you that i'll just continue with the repeated author theme so i have two other books of emily, emily henry i still have to read book lovers and you and me on vacation and then i have the same thing with taylor jenkins read i read malibu rising and the seven husbands of evelyn hugo uh, seven the seven husbands of evelyn hugo was the first book i read and it honestly wasn't my favorite i gave it a 3.5 stars Malibu Rising, I really, really liked. I also gave it to my mom to read and she really liked it as well. I have two more books by her. I have Maybe Another Life and One True Love. Look at that. I am so excited. I'm like, I'm shaking and shaking in my boots. I'm gonna quickly pop to my other room and get all the books that I haven't read from that shelf. These are obviously not all, but these are definitely some. We have another repeated author. This is the same author of um, The Slide Will Kill You. And that I read that like before I started YouTube and 
I like just before and I really really liked it definitely keep my pants off so this one I've done less than 300 pages so I really hope that this is good I really really hope that this is good because it's, if it's not I'm gonna cry because if so many people don't like this I will kill you but I really did isn't that fun if that cute and it's horrible hi so you're currently charging um, sorry for the angle change, but then we can continue this while you charge, you know? I found another repeated author while I was looking for the other books, which is obviously Alan Osman. I did find this. So this is a two-part series, The Winds and Knots, and the th A Three Dog Problem. And I don't know if I'll be able to read this after the death of the queen, because this is about the queen. Um, like, the queen solves murders. And I don't really know if I can handle reading that right now. But um, yeah, I just really hope that this is as good because I did buy both parts. So if I hate the first one, we might have a problem. I feel like this is really like cute and adorable and an easy cozy mystery is one might say. And they're around like 300 pages, but I feel like because this is only like a duology, it's allowed to go into the continuation of the series. I could divide them into genres though, because these are all mystery and I could do one side mystery, one side romance. I think that would work a bit better. So I'm gonna quickly get all my romance books that I haven't read, which are actually surprisingly not a lot because recently I've been gravitating a bit to more towards like romance more. So I'm just not really in the mood to read mystery, which is kind of a problem because I think like 50 of my 80 books that are on my physical TBR are like mystery. this is the current situation of my floor so let's go fix this so i do have two beth o'leary books and i might i might just put them here because it's not really repeat authors but it technically is because they're repeating i have some romance books four romance books I'm gonna show you what I have done. I don't think I'm completely done with the decorations yet, but this is kind of what I have done for now. So here I have the forensic psychology books. Then I have two random books I didn't really know where to go. Uh, the Day of the Locust and Purpose of Being a Wallflower. Then I have my entire uh, Death of A series that I still need to read. And I put this little fake candle that I got from my aunt in there goes on and off like that and i was thinking that i because for my birthday i got a kindle that i might like store it like right here so it's kind of at the top so it's easy to grab but i know where it is if that makes sense then down here we have my bigger books and my book of the month books i really hope that i can grow my book of the month collection because that would look so nice on a bookshelf then here i have some other mysteries that i really didn't know where to go, like put them I might put something here in the middle for decoration, but I don't know what. I found this little like jar that I made for, like a while back. Basically it has like a uh, popsicle sticks on them and then it's like books if I don't know what to read. So I could put that like in the middle here. You don't really see it, but then I know where it is. And then it's like with my books. I'll probably change it, but I thought that might be cute. And here on the bottom are all just like murder mystery type of things. Like, that's not necessarily even murder mystery, just mystery in general. This is so heavy, I forgot books. Wait, something. Um, up here we have all just repeat authors. Um, we have uh, John Green, and I have here more John Green, but I just felt like this looked better with the colors. Um, Alice Osman, Emily Henry, Taylor Jenkins Reid, Sally Rooney, Colleen Hoover, Beth O'Leary, haven't read any of her books, but repeated, so it's fine. And this is just series I'm continuing. Um, I obviously could put this entire series in there, but I feel like it's a bit extreme. Um, especially since I'm probably going to move a lot of stuff around 
after England. So maybe when I do my book haul, I can do a little like updated book cart if you want. Don't have to. Then um, down here is just romance books and sacral books and coming of age. But here is one awkward big space. So I think I might need to go to Ikea soon to get something. Enjoy the time lapse of me fixing my bookshelf. so much for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it it was a little bit different than what i do usually and i'm trying really hard to get back into reading because i just have been so out of it but i think i have some really good video ideas and i really hope that you guys think they're good as well you'll definitely see some kindle content is that a good idea with this physical tbr no no it's not i hope you enjoyed today's video um if you're still here comment this emoji and i will see you when i see you